Hey everybody, this is Kyle. Here's a clip from a live stream with Matthew and we have special guest Eve with us. This live stream is from July of 2021 and it was, I think, a week after a leap released a brand new song. So by the time I'm posting this replay, it'll be a couple months after that, but just want to let you know. The title of Aleep's original song, I'm going to say it, it's going to be completely wrong. I apologize for mispronouncing things in a language that I don't know. But the title of this song is Ngopi Pagi. Hope that's somewhat close. I always enjoy getting a chance to check out Aleep and the other musicians we react to when they have original work. For me, that gives me a, a better chance to look into their creative process how they might go about, uh, you know, constructing melodies, constructing harmonies, arranging songs, and all these other creative aspects of what it is to be a musician and or a songwriter. Speaking of songwriting, if you like the way that I break down this song, some of the comments I say, likewise with Eve and Matthew, all three of us have original music that you can find online. Check out my link in the description to this video if you're curious because that will take you right to Spotify and you can check out some original music and you can see if I know what I'm talking about or not. So without further ado, Musicians Panel reacts to Elite Bata's new song, Ngopi Poggy. Here we go.
coffee with a leap, everybody. Oh, my God. I, let me just say immediately, I was getting Steve Morse vibes off of that. That was perfect. I, like, it had everything. Like, you know, it had, like, the, the quick, happy little intro. It had the climb where it kind of slowed down and got a little bit more bold. And then it had that nice little breakdown, like pretty section. And, it, and then the whole thing cycled, you know, it kept coming back to that fast, happy thing. And, you know, it was just the sections were just long enough to, like, keep your attention, you know, at least for me to make me want to, like, you know, just, oh, yeah, what's next? What's next? What's next? And then there was just a couple of fills in there. Just they just ripped i mean they were just perfectly timed perfectly placed perfectly executed and i have one other thing i want to say he it looked like he was using an entirely new audio setup as well um i didn't notice any of the microphones on his guitar instead he had um this new high-tech looking thing uh pointed at his guitar it looked like it had a couple of condensers maybe like a a new version of like the zoom recorder that i've been using for the last 15 years i've had a zoom h2 for a long time um what do you think eve um well like i said yeah i got like uh steve morris sean lane vibes but i guess le less shreddier than those two it's just like the chord choices and the the airiness like more their like i guess uh acoustic and like uh, I don't want to say instrumental because they're both instrumental. Um, but like I was thinking of what was the song by Steve Morse? It's uh, ah, oh, God, it's off of High Tension Wires. I I just can't remember. Oh, Ghost Winds. It's called Ghost Winds. Cool. It it was cool stuff. I always appreciate um an instrumental. Well, I I, I would say composer for you know so I don't have to explain what that might mean <laughs> for a minute or two. But hearing uh, someone compose a piece like that, that is, mm -hmm. it, it's always enjoyable, you know, and, and that's what I, I love most about doing reactions and things like this is, you know, things I would never sit around and pay attention to, you know, you get to have that experience. Because you know, a lot of times when you play yourself, you're, you know, have a whole different perspective on, on things you listen to or what how you spend your time and and that is always an enjoyable thing because you you get that experience and, and you get to grow too 